Year 11s. Five months is a very long time with nothing to do. Um, the most important thing you need to do over this time is look after yourself. We're talking about looking after your physical health, we're talking about looking after your mental health and that of those around you. Um, now for some of you this is going to be a really nice period, for some of you this isn't going to be a really nice period and if you know potentially that one of your friends is struggling, one of your friends is not in a very good situation at home, then it is important that you reach out to them at this time. Um, it is important that you reach out to other people in your family, maybe there's an elderly isolated relative that really really wants to learn how to play Fortnite. You never know but they might do and maybe they just want to talk to you on the phone. Um, this period is going to be tough on everybody. Um, now results day uh, has been confirmed to be the same as always so the 20th of August. Now I can see a couple of issues with this is that it is very late to the proposed September exams which we don't have any more details on yet. Um, it doesn't give you a lot of time to decide if you want to resit, to apply to do the resit, we don't know how that's going to work yet, and then to revise for the resit. So if you think that you might want to resit a subject, um, that you might want to improve in the grade that your teacher gives you, then probably worth spending the time still revising. I know that's horrible and I'm not saying do it for every single subject, I'm saying if you think you might get given a three or below in maths and well we all know that you don't need a four so you're gonna have to redo it then maybe just try and spend this time doing the revision, seeing if we can't make sure that the next time you sit it we actually get this grade. Um, now teachers are not allowed to tell you what grade they've estimated you, what grade they've put forward to the exam board, but if your predicted grades are three, your target grades are three, your mock grades are three, you've got a three in every single topic test you've ever done, then teachers need to make um, that judgment based on data and if that's the data that the teacher has got then chances are that is the estimation that the teacher or the estimated grade that the teacher will put forward. Um, it is not guaranteed but that is uh, the way that it is. Now not a lot of data has been released about the appeals process for exams so we don't know too much about that at the moment. You've probably already made your A-level choices and put them forward to your current school or changing college. Think really carefully about these because it is not too late to change your mind. I would say generally up until about October it's okay to change your mind and to switch school colleges and courses. Now when we get to the end of year 12 they will start, schools will start talking about things like UCAS decisions and personal statements and universities and it is absolutely heartbreaking to sit down with students and talk to them about what they're doing and to find they pick the wrong combination of A-levels. If you do not have the right combination of A-levels, say for example you um, didn't pick maths um, but you need maths as a requirement to get onto whatever course you want to do, say for example architecture, um, then it is going to be absolutely heartbreaking because you are going to have to either change what universe, what course you apply for or go back and get your A-level maths. So have a look at universities. And I'm not saying you have to make an absolutely firm choice. I'm not saying you have to make an absolutely firm decision about what you want to do. But just have a look. And if you do have a dream course at a dream university, just check that the A-levels you've picked meet their requirements. Now I know for some universities that have things like, um, you know, if you do biology, human biology doesn't count as an A-level. So if you're doing chemistry, biology and human biology, you can't have both of those. Or if you're doing um, chemistry, biology, or if you're doing biology, maths and further maths, because maths and further maths are so close as a subject, they doesn't count as a third subject. So things like human biology and further maths are probably going to be best as a fourth choice. Now, there are lots and lots of other options out there for you that you probably haven't heard of or thought about. For example, 
T levels. You can do T levels in science, and these are really, really good things. One T level is worth three A levels, but they're much more, these are technical levels, they're much more um, vocational, so you get work experience at the same time. You can also have a look at things called degree apprenticeships, where you go to work as a police officer or an accountant or a lawyer and you then go and the, the, the place you're working for pays for your degree and it's kind of like a work study so you spend some time working you spend some time studying if in this long long period you find yourself getting bored with five months nothing to do chance are you are going to get bored you can start preparing for year 12 if you're doing like um an essay based subject so english or history and it involves lots of reading just get the books and read them now i'm not saying you have to do any heavy analysis of them i'm not saying you have to start highlighting sections i'm saying just Get the book, go and sit out in the sun, kick your feet up and read it and see where you get to. I've got lots of online courses on my website, but there are also lots of other free online courses you can do like MOOCs. I'm going to be here with you the whole way through Year 12. I've got A-level, Biology, Chemistry and Maths videos coming for you, as well as lots of UCAS stuff. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.